Okay, hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video, we've got a brand new modification for my EP3 Type R. So this modification is for the front of this car, more specifically the bonnet. This one is quite severely damaged, um, stone chipped, and if it, like, if I didn't replace it, I would need to have a full respray on this anyway. So I have replaced the bonnet. Now I have test fitted this. I didn't like it, it's come off, it's been put up for sale, it's been took off for sale, and now I'm putting it back on the car. This modification cost me over 500 pounds, and I'm just, it's just sat in my spare bedroom not knowing whether I wanna fit it or not. So for today's video, we are gonna fit it, and I need your guys' help to decide whether you like it or not. So I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see, but it is so severely damaged, and also, I don't know if you can tell, here it's around here in real life so i don't know whether it's picking it up it's still got lacquer peel underneath the bonnet and it looks awful from a distance it looks great but you come up close and it's absolutely wrecked and it, the half the car just looks shocking um so let's go home now we'll fit the new bonnet and we're going to need your guys' help to decide whether we like it or not okay here's the new bonnet she's carbon fiber I am going to drop it, it's, it's not even heavy but, uh, and it's from Tegua actually, if anyone's interested. So when I put it on the car before I hated it, and then I liked it on the pictures and everyone told me it looked good so we're going to try again. I think it looks good. Yeah, you think it looks good. I think it looks um, great. Like I said, that one's peppered, so. Just lift it with your arms off the floor, to save it hitting the floor and damaging it. <laughs> it's brand new as well. It is literally brand new. That one's peppered. Yeah. Um, so first we'll, ta we'll take the old one off, obviously, then we'll put a new one on. I'm only a little girl. Ah, there's my friend. What, what size, Georgia? Ten. I think you're right. What, first things first? It's experience. This is really aching. Ah, uh, yeah, these are the wash. We need to take the. We need to take the washer jets out. Just pull. Oh, and they come out the other side. Yeah, turn, twist them. Ready? Ta-da! You do it? Yeah. In fact, you Got it. One bonnet off. I didn't severely struggle this time. Right. The new one straight on. Might as well, well yeah. This is a bit out. of a, um, not the best video, but. How, how much can you long out a bonnet? Ready? Have you got your tool? This is significantly lighter, yeah. may I add? Yes. So I'm going to go faster, aren't I? Well, yeah. That was you. Right, then literally. You have to line it up to this bit. You in? You got the weight of the bonnet aside? Yeah. Because it's carbon fibre, we'll just, um, just nip them up by hand. Oh no, that tool hates me. Just a little. Nip. I got four. Oh my god, she's finally learned how to use a ratchet. <laughs> um, it's easy now, you know, isn't it? No, I wouldn't know. I think tightens easier, isn't it? It's the same. Just one way, it's just the opposite. Just get a little. That's really 
Yeah, that'll do. See, now I forgot again, but that's not doing it. Yeah, yeah. It's not doing that because you've not got enough tension on the bolt. Now you've got tension on the bolt. Oh. When the bolt's really loose, it just spins back on itself. Um, can you just explain what you did to the latch? Because we did have to change it, didn't we? Oh, I had to just move the latch upwards. So this is like grip it better. If you're happy, I'm happy. Move how tight it is. Oh. Right. Uh, yeah. Right, just make sure. The corners don't. When I go down, we're not going to catch. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Actually, I don't want to reveal it just yet, but that. Actually, that is perfect alignment. Yeah, that, come check Do this. you know that last time? That didn't. That it rubbed? Yeah, come check the gap that side. There. Ah, yeah. And then check it that side. That, no, that's yeah, that pretty, does match. That's pretty spot on. But it does close. Do you want to see if it opens? Yeah. Moment of truth. Well, if it didn't open, we have to break it. Okay. Hey, hold on. Stunning. Sorted. She works. Right, so. Oh. You have to proper bounce. You just do it. Not that lot. I mean, I personally think that just looks so aggressive. But I do understand where you're coming from with your life. I still don't. <sighs> still not convinced, are you? No. See, I, I like. I like the aggressive look, but I also do like appreciate the OEM. Oh look. my god, I don't know. I, I don't like it again. Do you not? No. <laughs> do you really not like it? No. Do you not want to just get used to it? Oh. I mean, that, that's more aggressive. The other one does look OEM. Like, nice. The thing is, right, I've, I've always said that I'm not keen on carbon, haven't I? Yeah. But everyone always hates me for it. <laughs> Might be a cheap bonnet up for sale this evening. <laughs> I think there should be a vote in the comments. I did say that in the intro. I am actually really torn. Because the thing is, right, you know, because it had a fresh respray. Yeah. I feel like the bonnet looked better because it was all one colour, like fresh colour. But then it does make it look like, oh, that's a modified EP3. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like really difficult. I don't know what to do. Cause I mean, on I, camera, it looks so aggressive. Because if I put that other one on, I'd get it resprayed so that it all looked like I'd probably have the front end done again because yeah. obviously look here, like the the bumper's a bit knackered as well now. Yeah, it's a um, bit. I do like it a bit. <laughs> oh, it's hard. It I feel is like hard. if the comments tell me whether it looks good or not, then I can decide properly. Do you know I feel like do you know if it had like that scoop that goes there? No, that's a golf R thing that. Do you reckon? Mm. I don't know, I think it looks quite... Do you know what the R34s have? Yeah. On their bonnets? Do you bonnets? know, I'd have a scooped one if it was like turbo or something. But yeah, I know what you're not, saying. it just looks a bit... It is tough. Well, I mean, you've got a decision to make because we've got to file um, these down for them to fit in here because they're a bit tight. So instead of filing the carbon down... Oh. That's it, that's it. <laughs> we should file these down instead. Should we do that? Yeah. Right, I think, with a little bit of this. He still not took his finger off. Where is he eating at? Hold on. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. That should. A bit more of this and a bit more of that. That should now. Oh my god. Fit. That's a tight fit if I've ever seen one. Actually, do you know what? As stupid it sounds, the bonnet looks better now it's got them on. Yeah, it does actually. Just that, I don't know why. Still not sure if I'm honest. It actually looks better now it's got them. Uh, I wish I had them for mine. Right. Put the bonnet and plug them in. Oh yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, just forget to plug them in. Oh, it's so light to pick it off. Oh, yeah. Done it. Plugged them in, yeah? Yeah. Sorted. Not that it matters because I never have washed the fluid in there anyway. Oh, that'll just have to yeah, dangle. I'm just going to high it, it a bit. 
because I don't want the wind getting under your bonnet and flicking it up. That's better, there's not as big of a gap in it now. Okay, so there is the finished product. Now, I still am not 100% sure. So yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. We are in a super, super rush. It is currently quarter past seven on Friday night and we've got um, guest on track in the morning. Um, so we're going to a hotel tonight, we're staying over and then we've got guest on track and we are in the VIP bit with Monster Energy, um, which I'm super excited for. Obviously I'm not, I'm just Jesse's plus one, but you know what I mean? I am gonna be vlogging the day, so that will probably be my next upload. Um, but yeah, we've got some excited bits coming. I'm really sorry the video was so short, but I didn't want to miss an upload. And I was just going to put the bonnet on, but then, like, when I do another video, everyone's going to be like, well, where, like, where did the bonnet come from? <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought I'd just do a little quick video on it. And yeah, I'm going to vlog going there tonight and all of tomorrow. So that'll be really good. I'm a little bit anxious because I've never filmed, like, an event before. Um, but yeah, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, please do like, comment if you like the carbon bonnet, or tell me if you don't like it, and please do subscribe, it means the world. See you in the next video.